Oh, hi, and welcome to another Today's Decay, where we celebrate births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time. And on this day, October 15th edition, here's all that happened. Everything that's right with the world. Victoria Spivey. Spivy. It's Spivy. I'm sorry. It's spelled in a way that it looks like it's Spivey, but uh, no, nope, Spivy. So be it. Victoria Spivy. Uh, born on this day... 1906, 1906. Uh, she was a phenomenal uh, blues artist, maybe like borderline jazz, like in that, uh, I, I forget if, I forget what region she's from, be it the Delta or not, but um, just a wonderful haunting voice and uh, really empowering and tragic and all about it. And what's particularly interesting for her story was that she lived on well past um, the majority of her peers and wound up getting embraced by like the 60s uh, folk revival, like Bob Dylan type people, and then continued to keep chugging along and performing well into the 70s where she was even like performing at like Max's Kansas City to like a bunch of like proto punks, maybe even punks. I mean like awesome, what, what a life to be able to have that snapshot of the world of performing in like 1920s um, brothels or illegal house parties or you know, wherever and, and seeing like the world evolve to such a dramatic degree. Uh, yeah, so also on this day, uh, Andre Breton published the uh, Surrealism Manifesto on this day because he really meant it, yeah. And uh, what else? Oh, oh, 1981. Um, oh, sorry, uh, Andrew Breton published that in 1924. Just in case you were wondering. Uh, 1981, Sam Raimi released upon the world Evil Dead. The first Evil Dead. And what a great movie. I mean, is it as great as the second one? I don't know. They're both good in their own way. Hard to say. Maybe a double feature is in order for the evening, it being release day. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. And you? I don't know. Perhaps we shall all be dead by dawn. Till tomorrow. Maybe.